Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Let me know if the sound levels are off at any point and I can adjust them for you. You know how things go with these. FTL Captain's Edition. Stumbled across this one. It's apparently one of the more popular mods for FTL. It does work with Advanced Edition and it adds a ton of new content. Which, I mean, I've been, I put probably another you know, 25 hours in FTL since Advanced Edition. And yeah, it's a lot of fun, but you know, obviously, I think once you've gone through all the events, you, you just yearn for more and more stuff. Apparently, Captain's Edition is just laden with all manner of really interesting things. So, let's give it a bash, shall we? Let's give it a try. I have no idea how this is going to go. Although, what I do see is the fact that they are in slightly different uniforms. Alright. What do I want to roll with? I guess probably you'd want to start with a basic ship. Have they redone the graphics on that? Oh, it, it starts with different weapons entirely. Interesting. That's cool. Dual shot laser mark two. Which, I, that's a nerf, really, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. That's actually a nerf. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you don't start with a burst laser two anymore. And the periton missile, which, ah, okay. So that's basically the Pegasus from the old one, right? And they've slightly redone the art on it, too. Interesting. Captain's Edition, for those who don't know, is a massive, and I do mean absolutely massive, revamp of the game. Huge. It's got, like, 70 new weapons, all sorts of different things in it. Yeah, that's that's a really, that's a really nerfed. All right, we can roll with that. I'm interested to see what the other stuff has, actually. Energy still has Ion 2. Hull Whipper Drone. That's... That's different. Interesting. Also, they appear to put Frankers in here. <laughs> Amusing. What's the uh, layout 2 for this? What the fuck is this shit? Effect... Effector Mark 2. Electronic Warfare Device. Old Dual Shot Lasers. They put a Burst Laser Mark 3 on the Osprey? That's massively overpowered. Why would they do that? <laughs> That's nuts. Okay, ha, ha, uh, oh, maybe they nerfed that. It seems like they nerfed that as well. Uh, I only does four shots now instead of five. Interesting. And this is the rock ship. The rock ship seems really good, actually, in this version. Someone claimed in the chat it's been nerfed, but you've got ammo manufacture, and you start with a weapon that fires three projectiles for the cost of one. I mean, that's a huge buff to that ship, surely. Massive. I want to try that. I'm going to try the rock ship. As I mean, that seems like a huge buff to the rock ship. There must be something I'm missing that makes that not the case. Yeah. 
Fires three missiles per charge. That's huge. All right, let's let's give it a try. Apparently, there's also something called artillery class weapons. Huh. All right. Interesting. So you get some events before you jump. Socialize with your crew. Consider some upgrades to your custom ship equipment. And produce something on board the ship. Good question. Socialize with the crew. Chat with your rock crew member. Okay, so it kind of generates random abilities, I suppose, based on what's going on there. Interesting. I also installed the Better Backgrounds mod, by the way, as you can probably see here. <laughs> Bad timing for the stream. Immediately, the missus sends me a Skype message. Let's just... Uh, just gonna... See what she has to say. Alright. Let's jump, shall we? Some interesting RPG stuff. After arriving at the beacon, you detect a small one man shuttlecraft that is headed straight for you. Repeated hails yield no response. You've got a strange feeling about it. Wait it out. You detect a transporter. Well, shit. Not a great start. <laughs> so, I I lost my pilot on jump two. Fucking brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. That's brilliant. Alright. Alright then. <laughs> oh, great start to the day. Well, that's good. That's gonna make things problematic, I think. Alright. At least I know what I'm doing here. Shoot the thing. My evasion is all manner of fucked. Let's take its weapons out, I think. I don't know what any of these weapons that it's firing at me do, so... What that? I... Don't know what that is, but I don't like it. So apparently this- it only costs one missile to fire three missiles with this gun, so that's not bad. I need to get some weapon power so I can use both. Lots of new sound effects in as well. That's pretty cool. If we fire one more burst and hopefully hit, then that should take it out. Alright. Ah! So irritating to miss that last shot and turn the med bay off and power up the engines. Let's remember to do that. But yeah, it's the, it's the combination of Advanced Edition with a giant mod pack. Currently playing. I like the backgrounds. I like them a lot. I think the backgrounds in the first game are particularly weak. Alright, sweet. There's some bonuses. Always nice to have. It would be nice to get some power for more more weapons, but we don't quite have the ability to do that yet. Alright. Yep, send the rock crew in to prevent a riot. That's easy. We already know how that one goes out. Another distress signal here. Apparently there's a bunch of new distress signals that are available in this mod. I'm interested to see them. Mm, we could try and... Ow! Well, at least we kind of got that repaired. And we got a quest marker. And the ship's on fire. Which is always lovely. Oh, we're in the middle of a damn solar flare as well. That's even better. Blue option is, as far as I'm aware, almost always a good outcome, yes. Jesus, this fire is way worse than I would have expected. And my doors are broken, so I can't vent it, which is lovely. I might actually just burn to death right here and now. It's possible. I can't warp out right now. Oh, the O2's offline as well. Great. That's just brilliant. Yeah, having rock crew is definitely helpful, but... This fire sucks. Yeah, you can vent. Last I checked, I've vented stuff on this ship before. 
entirely possible. Well, this is terrible. <laughs> Let's try and fix the doors and then we'll try and vent the ship. See? You can vent. Easy. There we go. Problem solved. Now I just got to get the engines back online. It's solar flared again, aren't I? Okay, that's an easy band. There we go. That was pretty rough. <laughs> it blew up the other ship. That's amusing. They just burned to death. Great start. Just br brilliant start to the day, wasn't it? At least we got some repair experience. That was nice. And now we can try and jump out, hopefully, before the next solar flare hits. Yeah, it's not that it's... Oh, shit. The FTL isn't charged. God damn it. <laughs> Pilot seat's on fire again. That's just wonderful. Ugh. All right, well, I guess we can jump out now. Lovely start. We have a quest to hand in, at least, so... There's that. And they have hacking and a flat cannon. Lovely. I wish I could enable all of my weapons, but I can't. I have to rely on the cockatrice. I will target the... Oh, yeah, taking the shield off when they have a flat cannon. This will be lovely. Hopefully we can get the shields back online before they shoot. Yeah, take out the pilot seat, I think, on this one. That'll stop them jumping and it'll stop them evading missiles, which is, is good for everybody. There we go. Captain's Mod adds huge amounts of stuff and is very easily found by Google, so I would suggest that you do that rather than asking in chat. As we're going to get the same questions every single time someone comes in. It's like, what does this do? Well, you know, look it up. Google is a thing. I have to switch over to whole missiles because we don't have enough energy to fire that one. Just lovely. That's the shield fucked up again. Well... Uh, the FTL's still charging. I think we can kill them, though. Yeah, we should be able to kill them. They're not on jump imminent yet. Oh, now they are. Fire! Come on! Hit it! There you go. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Apparently, they've added stuff in where when you reach an empty sector, you can actually do something, which is quite nice. You can, like, manufacture stuff on the ship and all that kind of thing. Which I like a lot. Nothing worse than going to a sector and there just being nothing to do whatsoever. Alright. That's our guy's mostly fixed up. Get back to what you were doing. Actually, he's on the weapons, isn't he? Need to save these positions properly. There we go. Alright, we need to hand this quest in. We could probably do that and then loop through the nebula to slow the fleet down and then hit the exit. Mm, yeah, it's worth investigating, I think. Okay, so nothing happened. It's rather annoying. Seven scrap. That was a worthy hand in. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Ah, a rebel turret. Alright, this is interesting. Apparently there's stations and, like, battleships in this version as well. Rebel AI turret is guarding the beacon. They knew ships would have to stay in weapons range to charge the FTL. A fight will be unavoidable. This enemy seems to be equipped with a combat augment. You detect a jamming signal capable of disrupting communication with automated drones. Good job I don't have any of those. Alright, I think we just go for the cockatrice. And we fire on their weapons. I don't know what this gun does, and that scares me. It appears to have a missile strapped to it. Well, that's a missile launcher. Interesting. That's the O2 down. We should be able to survive long enough, though. If it's just the ion, then I'm not too worried. Let's 
keep those weapons down. Don't want to get hit by that again. I don't know what that does specifically. And then we could just fire one more salve when it should die. And then we'll just go fix the O2. Alright, well the turret wasn't too difficult to kill. I like the design on some of the new stuff, I've got to say. That does look very FTL-like. I've seen some of the screenshots of the stations. Like, yeah, that's how it would look in the FTL art style. There we go. O2 is back up. Not a brilliant start in Sector 1, I've got to say. We got really screwed. Losing that crew member early on was just a nightmare. Unmanned crafts. Again with a jammer. What is that that it just shot at me? Oh, yeah, hacking. Okay. And that appears to be an iron weapon of some sort. Burst laser. Mach 1, probably. Yeah, this could, this could hurt. Especially with iron. Alright. Well, no point firing a whole missile against these guys. At least the hacker locked onto something useless. So just disable the weapons and kill it that way. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it could still be dangerous. It depends on the timing of that ion. Wow, the ion shot down both of our missiles. That was fun. There we go. Yeah, all right. We should be absolutely fine. Just finish it off now with auto-fire. Using a lot of missiles, it, th this this version does have a way of regenerating missiles, but you've got to hit an empty jump beacon in order to do that, which I haven't yet to do. I'm going to have to fire it. No. Hit all three. There we go. Not bad. Plus, we've got a lot of money. I mean, it's not like we can't go to a store and buy more missiles if need be, so... Not too worried about that. Oh, Christ. So this is one of these stations I was talking about. Beacon lies in close proximity to what looks like a small Federation station, but IDs is a rebel forward base. It appears to be taken over by the rebel fleet and verifies this by locking weapons onto your ship. And it's teleporting. Where? Right there. That's lovely. Okay. Well, he might just come and fight in the weapons room, in which case he'll probably die because the rock can kill that quite easily. I don't know what that gun is, but that looks like a double stun ion, which is going to suck. That thing has absolutely massive hit points. But I, I surely killing something like this would be a pretty big deal. I mean, we can hit it with a whole missile, but honestly, I think the Cockatrice is a better bet. It could potentially do three damage for one missile shot. So, I see no reason not to fire that weapon. What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess they can't dodge. Which is in itself quite nice. I don't know what the hell that gun was, but holy shit. <laughs> that was nasty. Alright. Recharge the cockatrice for another shot. At least it's it's just got stun iron up right now. Heal them up, because we're gonna... They have a med bay operational, so they'll teleport back onto the ship again. Okay, Stun Iron takes out the shields, but... Oh, they sent two of them this time. Lovely. I think we can let them kill the sensors. I don't really care about that. Let's disable that before it shoots. It's kind of a shotgun of sorts. Oh, God. Now they're going for that. Christ. All right. Well, we don't need the evasion. We can go and clean them out now. As long as we can keep the, the most of those weapons offline. Oh, they're in the O2. Lovely. All right, we should be able to beat this station. Did they teleport onto the ship again? How many crew members do they have? Probably a huge number. Yeah, we're taking damage on something else. Here's something that's not the weapons. I'm gonna need those. Oh, it's the piloting. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you are going to die, no doubt. And they're attacking the med bay. Well, I mean, that's in itself kind of nice because we can fight in there. 
In fact, I should leave this guy in because I think he can force at least one of them to teleport out. There we go. And we can now go fight in the med bay and finish them off. Sweet. Interesting. Huh, okay. Station slowly breaks apart, leaving massive chunks of debris and scrap material. You collect what you can, but the wreckage is so big it would take more time to gather more. Spend more time. I think we can do that. Yeah, I don't think we need to jump yet. So yeah, so you have an option now to uh, use another jump point, which would make the Rebel Fleet get closer to you, but get more scrap, which I'm totally fine with. You circle around the beacon several times and have your crew keep track of all the drifting parts that seem valuable. The stuff you collect isn't bad, but you lost a lot of time and your Rebel Pursuers will be catching up to you sooner now, which again, to me, is totally fine because they weren't that close to me anyway. There we go. So, a bunch of our shit is broken, but that's not too big a deal. We got a lot of scrap. We got a few missiles. We got a huge amount of fuel. We do need to hit up a store, I think. Yeah, the Cockatrice rockets are extremely good. The fact that they only take one. I mean, that's the biggest thing. They only take one piece of ammo for every three you fire, which is kind of huge. Alright, let's fix this up. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there are actual problems with this mod, but obviously having all this content is really great. Even with Advanced Edition, you get a lot of repeat events, which I think has always kind of been the weakness of FTL. You, I think if you're going to do an event-based random thing, you've got to have a huge number, and I never thought FTL had enough. So having mods like this, which actually add huge amounts of new events, is a big deal. This is my first playthrough of the mod, by the way. So I have no experience with it whatsoever. Let's jump out. Cool. And we're going to hit the exit anyway, so the double fleet is useless. Okay. Yeah, let's... What can you do? Do I want to upgrade the O2? Really? I mean... It is actually not a terrible idea, because it does mean if your O2 gets hit, you can actually survive a hit on it. And that can be a real problem. 20? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, ha I have the money, so I don't see why not. We might as well upgrade it solely for that reason, because it just gives it another hit point. What are these? Oran's Shrine and Illegalized Zone 4. Huh. I don't know what either of these are. Let's go to Oran's Shrine, shall we? All right. So now we've jumped to an empty zone, meaning we actually have some... Can we stop with the backseat gaming, please? That would be appreciated. Let's see. Consider some upgrades. Produce something on board the ship. We could definitely do with producing missiles. Yep. Assemble some missiles, which costs 20 scrap. Okay. Let's see how many we get. Seven? I guess that's okay. Yeah, that's actually not bad, considering the usual cost of missiles, I think. What do missiles cost? Six? I think it's six, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. Alright. Now, it, by the way, it is possible for you to offer surrender in the same way that these guys do, and you can pay someone to leave. That's part of this mod. In this case, of course, we're not going to do that. We will fight them. Okay, a drone, a laser, and what looks like a missile. All right, unpleasant. Well, we'll try and take their weapons out. And let's get full engines going, at least. The beam could be dangerous. It, it depends. I mean, beam drones on AI ships are usually pretty bad because they don't sync up properly. It's weird though, I think like, it's the str it's strange that they set up the cockatrice with the whole missile one, like there seems to be almost no reason at all to use the whole missile one, unless you have a lot of missiles, because that's gonna do 
maximum two damage to a systemless room. The cockatrice takes the same amount, can do potentially three damage, and fires three shots. The... Uh, I can't see a single situation where you'd want to use one over the other. Obviously, though, that does take only one power. So if you were to get an early beam weapon, for instance, then you could use the whole missile, and you would actually still have power to use another weapon. But using them in conjunction with each other seems senseless. Shortly before you jump in, the computer already warns you of mines ahead. A rock military ship sends a long-range hail. This area is off-limits even for our kind. You foreign spies will be executed on the spot. A rock mine layer is approaching. A minefield. You try to slowly maneuver out of the field, but are intercepted by the rock ship. A few of the mines have been triggered, but maybe you can escape before they can home in on your ship. Probably not. I could offer surrender. He has what looks to be one of the, like, one of the shotgun laser weapons. And to a dual beam. He'll probably kill me. Let's try offering surrender. Alright, so we get to make an offer. I guess this would be okay. There we go. That was weird. I actually gained a drone part out of that. That's strange. Yeah, I didn't really want to fight that, frankly. That seemed really unpleasant. Look like I might have to upgrade my shields at this point. Probably should have done that earlier. Definitely should have done that earlier. I think I die now, actually. There's very... God. Two rock. Jesus. And they have a beam! And it's in... Oh my god. This is actually terrible. They have a beam weapon. And one of those shotgun lasers. And it's in an asteroid field. And I only have one shield. Yeah, this- I will die now, I think. Without question. And, inexplicably, their rocks fight a lot better than ours do. I can't explain that. That's probably GG. Yeah. I can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we get out of this alive, but only barely if we do. Oh, and the, the doors are broken as well, so I can't fix anything, which is just lovely. And my weapons just went down. Lovely. We can at least power up the whole missile and maybe kill it that way, but I don't think so somehow. Yeah. That's dead. That was a brutal start, to be fair. Losing one of my crew members immediately, not great. Pop! <laughs> well, that was that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Alright, I'm gonna take a short break. And then I will be right back and we'll do another run with a different ship.